have a tankless hot water heater that produces hot water when there's a demand. However, around the three minute mark, it stops producing hot water, it goes cold. The problem is, there's a fan that exhausts the natural gas that's used to heat the water from the unit. It's a squirrel cage fan, and bugs and spiders get in there, and over time, they get the fan out of balance. In order to fix this, you have to take the fan out of the hot water unit, clean it, and then put it back. Sometimes you can tell when you're about to have this problem because you'll hear the hot water heater when it turns on. Normally, it's pretty quiet. But when that fan gets out of balance, you can hear it. Now, if you're in the bathroom and you turn the shower on, you're not going to hear it. But if you're in an adjoining room or if someone at the other end of the house, like in the kitchen, calls for hot water and the unit turns on, you can start to hear it. So you have a little bit of a warning. Let's get it fixed. I'm here into the crawl space underneath my bathroom. The first thing I'm going to do is unplug the water heater and then take off these side trims that reveal the screws underneath to take off this front panel. These trim pieces have a slot and they just slide straight out. This is a lot to look at, but the only thing we're focused on is the fan back there. The first part to take off is this unit right here. It's held in with this single screw. Next, I need to disconnect these three electrical pieces, and they're color-coded. This one's red, blue, and then yellow. I just need to remember that order to reconnect them. Okay, we're getting there. Now, there's a few other wires that are in the way, and I'm going to try and just gently move them to the side here. I might need to disconnect some of these cable harnesses, but I want to do as little as possible. This one does have this little wire right here that really gives me a lot more room. Oh, look at that. That's what we're after, the fan. There's two sets of three screws. There's a part of the fan housing, there's screws that are attached to that. And those are like on, a, on a, in, the inside, they're closer to the center of the fan. But then there's screws that are on these tabs. These are the ones I need to remove in order to pull the fan out. I'm going to start with this screw here. Okay, there's one. And there's one playing peekaboo way down here. There it is. Hello, I see you. Oh, I'm right in the way of the camera. <laughs> okay. There's my peekaboo screw. A set of magnetic screwdrivers would be really nice right here. Oops. But if you drop a screw, it just goes in the bottom of the case, so that's nice. And then the last screw is way up here, way in the shadows. Whew. That screwdriver is just long enough to reach it. Oh, it came out. Okay. That screw's still in there. I don't want it to just fall out willy-nilly. Oh, there we go. Okay, you grab that, put it in my bowl, and I'm going to pull these wires to the side here and pull the fan out, and I have to disconnect this last part right here, and that's what connects to the fan. The last time I took this apart, I broke the tab that connects these, so I wrapped it with electrical tape. Normally these just have a, a tab you, you press down, I'm going to go ahead and undo my electrical tape since I broke it. Okay, so there's my tab to connect back to. That's what the inside of the fan looks like. I'm feeling around to see if there's much dirt in here. If I need to bring the air compressor up here and blow this out, it, it feels clean. So I think I'm, I'm okay with that. What I do need to do is take the actual fan itself to my workshop and get rid of some of these bugs that are in the blades. This is the exhaust fan from the tankless water heater. I'm gonna clean the fan blades. This is the fan and the bugs that are in the fan blades are 
what's causing it to get out of balance. It just spins at a high rate. And there's one big guy right there. He might be my culprit. I have this brush here, which is a detailing brush for aut automobiles. And I'm gonna put this through the tines to get all those bugs out. Got a bunch of stuff cleaned up. This brush has some junk on it, spider webs and stuff. Now I'm gonna take my air hose and clean everything out even more. giving it a visual inspection just to see how clean everything is. Well, hello. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> you inspecting the fan too? I think this is pretty good. The last thing I need to do is spin it by hand and just see if it's level. As I was brushing on it, I was careful not to put too much pressure. I don't wanna have it uneven out of balance and bend the shaft that it's floating on. That looks pretty good. Time to reinstall the fan. Now I'm gonna put everything back together, uh, just in the reverse order. That fan is nice and clean, and it spins at a high RPM. That's why just the slightest little bug can throw off its balance and interfere with its performance. I've dropped one of my screws and I'm looking for it down here and I don't see it. Oh boy. I hate to get my hands in there too much to feel around because I don't want to pull a wire apart. I'm going to go get my magnetic reacher tool. By reinstalling the fan, one of the nuts fell down here in the case and I can't find it. So I'm going to use my little magnetic tool to see if I can figure out where it went. Drop from here. Where are you hiding? Peekaboo screw. Oh, there he is. You got to see this. Okay, let me aim this camera. Uh, let me tilt that down. There is my peekaboo screw. Gotcha. All right, back in business. Okay, I'm going to try that again. It's a fun little diversion. See if we can get that screw in. Hey. There we go. Make sure all of them are, screws are tight. The one behind the nest. So we have the open screw, the wire nest screw, and the peekaboo screw. Now I need to plug the fan back in. When I did this the first time, months ago, I broke the little tab that locks these two electrical connectors together. So my workaround is to wrap them with some electrical tape. I just put the tape over the seam right where they join. I'm trying very careful not to pull too hard on all these very important wires. Fan's in place. It's reconnected. Now I need to plug back in those three plugs at the top. And they were in order. Red, blue, yellow. I'll go ahead and put them back in. They just push right in. There we go. Nice snug fit. This little tail of a wire was holding some of these cables together, so I'm going to go ahead and put those back like that. 
Next, we're going to put the control panel back in place. There's three tabs here that are offset, and they slide on the rail on the bottom of the case. The top is a screw hole. So you slide it over into position. There we go. There's these two pins. There's a cutout for these two pins right there. Help line it up just right. And a single screw holds it snug. Okay, that's good. Now it's time to put the cover back on, which you can leave off and test to see if everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and put the whole thing together. Based on the, time, the way I did this last time, this was the solution. So I'm also gonna use that as a vote of confidence in my abilities. Yeah, I got this. These trim pieces just slide right on. Line up those tabs. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna plug the unit back in. With the unit plugged in, I'm gonna go upstairs and see if the water runs hot for longer than three minutes. I'm gonna let the hot water run and see if it runs for more than three minutes. That seems to be about how long it takes before the hot water heater turns off, the tankless water heater turns off. It takes, I think, about uh, 20 seconds to get hot water in the bathroom I'm at the other end of the house, so I'm guessing maybe 30 seconds before I get hot water here. And it will come up hot water initially. The, the, the real test is, will I have hot water five minutes from now? While we're waiting, I'm going to scrub some dishes. Checking in, the dishes are clean, still have hot water. Let's continue the test. We're at the three-minute mark, still have hot water. That's a good sign. Still hot. Let's keep this party going. Hot water is still flowing. Still have hot water. I'm going to go for another minute or two. I think we got this. The water's still hot. I'm pretty sure the water heater would have cut off by now if there was something else at play. Getting that fan cleaned up seems to have done the trick.